So today we will be talking about that uh, data table and what I will do is I will take one application and then in that application I will use multiple data. That means here what we will do is we will take this application and then this application I will test with say for example 10 users and I don't know which user is valid and which user is invalid. I wanted to test this login page with 10 users. That is my scenario. So here today concepts are very important because if you understand this concept that means you are good with QTP basics. So what we are doing here parameterization parameterization script. So what I will do here take one functionality <coughs> take one functionality and use <coughs> use multiple sets of data multiple sets of data multiple sets of data so what we learned yesterday we can use we can use data table for our test data purpose so what you can do is you can go to the data table and you can use that data table for your test data purpose so here what i will do we can use data table for the data purpose test data purpose so here <coughs> here we will use this uh, data table for the data purpose so here what we will be doing is take that application take the data and write a script in such a way that your script will work with n number of users we will see that how it will work and all. Fine. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the chat window. Now we will be writing that parameterization script. Parameterization parameterization create so here what I am doing is I am writing a script for my parameterization script yeah I will show you both the applications, don't worry. Okay. If you learn one application, writing the script for any other application, it's not a big deal. What I will do is I will show you for both the applications. I will take Windows application as well as web application. Now, here, now I wanted to work with this functionality and I wanted to use a different test data. First, what you can do is design your test data, right? First, design your design your test data. That means what I will do here, I can go here, I can use my test data here. And as I said earlier, as, I, as we discussed in the last session, here these are all called parameters. And what we can do is you can view that parameters that means by default it is ABC what you can do is you can also give these parameters by double clicking on it I will give these proper names username otherwise if you want to use as it is ABC it will work password username password status that means here what is my intention my functionality is I'm having 10 users I wanted to use each each user in my script and I wanted to write the status for each and every user in the runtime that means whatever the details I entered 
is it valid or is it invalid credentials so what you can do is you can write that status in the execution time we will see that how to read the values from data table and also at the same time we will see that how to write the values back to data table now here what you can is you can give the parameters just by double clicking you can provide your uh, parameter name here username password and status now you can give the test data here i want to give my test data this is my first user second user second user first user second user third user fourth user actually what will happen is in qtp each and every row will be considered as one iteration that means here if you are having thousand lines of code all the thousand lines of code will be executed with this data first once it is done the same code will be executed with this code then with this data with this data and so on so you can have n number of data here session is just now started okay so you can have your n number of users here and my intention is to write the status for each and every user in the runtime fine okay so this is my test data this is my test data and i wanted to check whether each and every user is valid or invalid so what to do how to do now here what you can do is i will write the logic here then we will go to the script and then you can tell me i will write the script now logic for your data table so what you can do first what you can do first open the application as usual open the application i open my application add the required objects to the repository add the required objects to the repository then then what i have to do enter username but here what i have to do enter username from data table enter username from data table see please try to understand this logic and if you are having any issues or any doubts with this logic you can always ping me enter username but here i wanted to get the values from the data table so i said that yes i will enter the username fine but i wanted to get the values from the data table because here i wanted to use my data table concept enter password so what i will do from data table i wanted to get my password from the data table fine so i entered my username i entered password from my data table then click okay button what will happen now right i clicked on okay button fine now what will happen when you click on okay button here you have two conditions one is see first what you have to do right whenever if you want to do automation i said this many times right when you are talking about automation that is all about your logical and then analytics like you have to analyze that functionality automation scripts you can write easily first you have to analyze that functionality what i am going to automate here so what i said here like i entered username i entered password and click on okay 
once I click on OK, here I may get two conditions. One thing is, I may get home page if I enter the right credentials. And I may get error page if I enter the wrong credentials. That means, first try to understand your application first. Then you can write to your uh, proper scripts. Here if I entered my, write any wrong credentials, then I should get, okay, error page. That means, here I, all, I have two conditions. One is, if I entered that uh, wrong credentials, I may get the error page. Or, if I entered that uh, valid credentials, I may get home page. So, I have only two conditions. So what I will do, here I will go here, here if, if home page is available, home page is available. What I have to do, if my home page is available, if my home page is available, I wanted to write the, I wanted to write the details to data table. I wanted to write the details to data table saying that valid user. See, here what I am doing, I may get two conditions. I wanted to write the details to data table valid user details. Now, okay. now, else else what will happen you may get error page also else if i get any error page any error page then i wanted to write the status i want to write the status as invalid details to data table data table okay clear clear this is the logic now <clears throat> here what i am doing first i am taking the first user enter that username enter the password click on ok once you click on ok it will go to the home page and then i said that it's a valid user i am done with that now i am going to the second user before going to the second user you have to make sure that application is ready to enter the details. That means what I am trying to say here is, once it is opened here, now what I have to do, I have to close this and I have to make sure that my application is opened before going to the next iteration. So what I will do, and remember one point, this is the logic for any application, that application can be X, Y, Z, any application you have to follow these kind of logics. Now, what I will do, close that application, close that home application and open the login page again. Because the reason is, you wanted to make sure that application is ready for the next iteration. You have to make sure. Otherwise, if you are not opening that application, what QTP will do? It will throw the error message saying that the object is not available. Same logic here also. What I have to do? Say for example, if I am getting any error message. If I am getting any error message. If I am getting any error message. Yeah, I am done with that particular user. Now I wanted to go to the next iteration. If you want to go to that next iteration, what you have to do? You have to click on this. You have to click on this and you have to clear the details then your application is ready for the next iteration. Okay. Fine. That means, click on OK button in the error page, clear the details if any available in the dialog the dialogue. This is your logic. See, let me let me tell you once again. See, first I am opening the application, then getting the values from the data table, use it in the application, 
then click on OK button and I will see that, I will see in the sense I will give that logic to QTP so that QTP will take care. So what QTP will do? QTP will check that what I am getting. If I am getting that home page then I will write the status as valid user and if I am getting that uh, error page then I will write the status as invalid user and whenever write, once I am done with that uh, first iteration that means first row and if I want to go to the next iteration I have to make sure that my application is ready for the next iteration. For that what you have to do is you have to close that uh, available application and reopen your login page. This is the logic. Yeah, yeah. I, this is the logic. Now practically I will write the script. Okay. I will write the scripts. See, here right, you can use any values here, like, slow, okay. Now here right, you can enter any username and password. I don't know which user is, which user is valid, which user is invalid, I don't know. This, what I will do is, I will take different test data and then I will use it. Yeah, I will tell you in the script. Okay, fine. So what I will do is, now, here, now, we know that how to open the application. We know that how to open the application. And you can give me that step so that I will uh, write the code here. You can help me in writing the code. You can help me in writing the code. Because I gave you that logic. Now, your turn, you can give me that logic, based on your logic, I can write the code here. You can give me that step, see, if it is uh, wrong also, no issues, that is fine. If it is incorrect also, that's fine. Yes, right? Now, I have to add my objects. See, if, if that code, whatever you are pinging, that is incorrect also, no issues, because we are in the learning phase, that's fine. I open the application, add that required objects. It is taking some time to open this repository. Yeah, fine. Add that objects. add the objects it will add the objects see if you want to write the code you have to add the objects there is no other way you have if you want to write the code here you have to add the objects in your repository once i added the objects then only i can start writing the scripts through my object repository now what I wanted to do, what is my step here, now tell me, what is the next step, enter username, go ahead, yeah, no need to use if condition every time, because right in the previous session, we are writing our script for the first time, so we used so many if conditions, now we learn that basics, now slowly we are moving to the next steps, so no need to use many if conditions, you can uh, right away enter that values. Tell me how to enter the value in my agent name and I wanted to use the data table here. So here, now right, what is the object you are going to work? See, if you don't know, simply spy it, that's it. Just spy it. Once you spy it, you will get to know that hierarchy of that object. See, things are very simple and all the details are available in QTP itself.
So what is my object hierarchy here? My object hierarchy here is So here my object hierarchy is, see, if you don't know, right, simply what you can is try to understand. Dialog, login, win edit, agent name. Okay, try to understand this. Now what I will do? I will go to my script and then I will say that this is my object. Dialog. dot win edit agent name then what you have to do you have to set the value from the data table that means set data table write it because yesterday we discussed that data table is a built-in object to your QTP and whenever if you want to get the values or if you want to write the values you have to use a method called value bracket once you give the bracket, then it will say that fine, you are looking, you, looks right, you are trying to get the value from the data table. Fine. What is the parameter ID? Please tell me. From where you want to get this value? I want to get the value from username. Because I want to set this. So I will say that username. And sheet ID is optional. And we know that sheet ID starts from 1. That means global is 1, action 1 is 2 and so on. So sheet ID starts from 1 and it is optional. If you say that if you are not giving any sheet, by default it will take it from global. I will select this. This is how. Any doubt on this line, tell me now. Any doubts on this line? That means that what I am doing is, I am setting the value, fine. But I want to set the value from the data table. So I will say that data table and if you want to get the values, you have to use a value method, data table dot value, which parameter you are working, username. So you can say that username and sheet ID starts from 1, you can give it. Okay. So here what will happen is like here now right let me tell you one more thing here now many many is asking like right how that QTP will take that rows and all so if you are having 100 rows of code if I am having 100 rows of code in my QTP and QTP is having data table is inbuilt right QTP is having a data table as a inbuilt so what will happen is if you are having 100 rows of code and if I am having 10 rows of data, 10 rows of data in the data table. That means what it will do is QTP will consider each row as one iteration by default. One iteration, one iteration by default. This by default. However, right, you can also change it. That means here what it will do is each row has one iteration by default. That means first what it will do is this thousand rows of code will be executed first row of data. That means what will happen? 100 rows of code, 100 rows of code, 100 lines we will say instead of rows. 100 lines of code will be executed this by default, no need to do anything, just by default it will take. What it will do? A row 1 data, A row 1 data, it will execute. Immediately, no need to do anything. Automatically, all your 100 lines of code will be executed. A row 2 of data. 
row 2 of data like this now 100 lines if you are having uh, n number of data it will execute that uh, data n number of times this is how it will work Now, like this, now and so on. So, if you are having, right, if you are having like uh, 10 rows, then it will execute 10 times. This is how QTP will work. Okay, fine. Okay, now it's clear. Okay. Fine. Anyway, I will explain you again if you are not understanding also. Fine. So, here I entered my username. Now, I wanted to enter my password. How to enter my password? Now, I don't know what is this object. Just get the hierarchy of that object. What is my hierarchy of that object? My hierarchy of that object is dialog login win edit password password now what it will do here win edit password dot set now here data table dot value here right what will happen say for example if you are having only these three lines of code just imagine you are having only three lines of code and here you are having 10 rows of data then what will happen is these three lines of code will be executed one iteration means here whatever that code is available execution of complete code one time is nothing but one iteration so what it will do is all these three lines of code will be executed with row one once it is completed again it will go to line number one again all the code will be executed with line number two again all the code will be executed with line number three again all the code will be executed with line number four and so on So then I wanted to click on OK button. So what is our hierarchy of that object is <coughs> dot click. Okay. So I open the application. I got the values from the data table for username, for password and click on OK. You have to use data table for the parameterization. This is built in. That's the reason it is taking. Okay, fine. So I entered my username, I entered my password and click on OK button. Fine. Then, now, here right, I added only this objects. I have to add my error page also. I have to add my error page also add this page also you have to add whatever the objects you are going to work whatever that objects you are going to work you have to add the objects follow the same logic whatever the logic we wrote manually try to analyze it and then try to come up with a script Here again it is in between right it is taking lot of time maybe because of that VM right so it is taking some time that's fine fine so here right we will write uh, comments also open the application open the application 
get the username value value from the data table okay get the password value from the data table okay click on okay button once i am done now now right after clicking on that okay button i don't know which up which what will happen in the application i may get error page or i may get home page so you can get any condition here Thank uh -huh. 